I don't know, Tom represents the king next up. You know, me? So check out the dog, YouTube page, all the body thing, all the money thing. I'm not saying, no, no, guys, I'm the world family. Boof, buff now. Okay, boom, viewers, welcome back to the channel, subscribers, and I don't know the thing said, bless. Hoping I have a wonderful day today, but you know my style, I already one bag of one and a one and I'm going to give another bag of this. You see me, I say, this is credible bars, unfiltered, and I'm going to tell you what this fans them is talking in other streets. You see me, I say, so it's extremely important to watch to the end, so you don't miss a thing. You know what I mean? And not in any particular order, let's start off with Mayan. Getting big up by Nicki Minaj and followed by Nicki Minaj and you know the people them I say Nicki I throw shots at Shensia, you see me? It's a good look when the queen I big you up and I follow you, you see me I say And you know Nicki Minaj follow the king and in tune in everything Jamaican and it's no secret that there's a song that Shensio dropped that she said is about a man, but she also thrown some words at a woman. We all know the saga between Mayan and Shensia unofficially. It's a mercy, and we know it's a spice link with Mayan too, so that's why the streets say, you know, <laughs> Nicki Minaj, I give everybody a follow, except for the Barbie or the Dolly. Put in the comment section what you think about that. Now speaking about Nicki Minaj, we have to talk about her artist gang because the streets is saying that him seems to be copying Vibes Cartel hit summer song Fever. You feel me? And Vibes Cartel featured or previewed a song uh, Minds and Einsteins. When I use Mali, <laughs> you see me listen. Uh, when you think about people who use Mali, only a few people come to mind even though a millions are use it. Skang. You see me, I say, and like I said, other people, but like I said, the streets are talk, and they must say, them not know if cartel are throw words, because gang, you know, drop a fever summertime song today, as you can see, a few hours ago, and you don't know cartel, um, fever done sold gold and all of these stuff in America, you see me, um, so, like I said, me just a little know what I'm going for, not to go on cartel drop song. Minds and Einstein's and we not use Mali. You see me, I say, and Skeng Drop Fever song and all of these things. Put in the comment section what you think about that. If you listen to both songs, comment it down as well. Do you see any differences and things and things? You know what I mean? But the song that Skeng do, you know, the beat sound good and all of this stuff. You see me? You know what I mean? Even though. Me know, you know, the Mali thing, the song is, um, what do good for his fan base, you see, but say, yeah, anyway, let's proceed. Now, Buster Rhymes and is telling Spice, stop following Fool Fool, Fulte Hype and the others. You see, but I'll say, cause you know, Spice feel bothered that people seem to flop our show, BET show and all of these things and shouldn't skin out ourselves. So, you see, Buster Rhymes, I say, stop catering to the foolishness when we are in the most blessed space ever, boss lady, queen of dancehall. Is who you are and will forever represent that argument. Because uh, you know, a time when she should be celebrating, you know, being on BET Awards, um, she's out here defending herself, you know, why she's skinny your throat and all of these things. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, boy, oh boy. People putting in the comment section what do you think about that. I remember clearly that Footer Hype wasn't allowed to enter the Reggae Sunfest venue one year. Um, and he attended with Buster Rhymes, but through him and Buster Rhymes link, Buster Rhymes star power, he said he wanted to attend Reggae Sunfest at Foot of Hype. Um, you know, it wasn't allowed. It's similar to, uh, so I don't know what the drama is with Foot of Hype and Spice, like I said. It must be some money reasons why Foot of Hype always is, you know, so hard on Spice. It's similar to, uh, because it's only that we can't see him always at this up and friend them over money. You know what I mean? So like I've been saying, he's probably mad that Spice not, you know, hire him to be, you know, her personal selector to travel the world and get this money. Because look how long him there in America. And just barber shop him there. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. But you see Buster Rhymes had defend the thing and, you know, her queen status. is see what I say. So that's why the people that must say, Buster Rhymes had this foot out. Because, you know, he came out yesterday or the day before saying that, you know, her body botched up and she forget refund and embarrassment upon the stage and all of these things. And it seems like it's getting under spice skin. Put in the comment section what do you think about that. 
And now time for some more baga baga with this BET award spice and ladies so on these things. I finally figured it out, people. The reason why Spice cancelled on, you know, grooving in the park and the reason why she got booked late. Uh, but the reason why she got booked late for BET Awards is one, Busta Rhymes, them never know if Spice was able to perform because, you know, she had the her in your business, a DR business, whatever surgery complication business. And, you know, she put all the things in that, you know, she's going to be MIA for a little bit. So that's probably why they never stepped to her. But after seeing her perform, you know, elsewhere and all of these things, or better yet, after, you know, Buster Rhymes finally saw Spice in over a year. Remember, this is the first time they're seeing each other since the complications, you know what I mean? So it probably came to his idea then um, to book her. You know, I don't know. I'm just saying that because it makes sense, you see me? You see me? So I don't want to say she was an afterthought, but it, it, it makes sense, you know what I mean? Because why would she take double bookings? That don't make sense. Spice never cancel a show. Um, in our life, <laughs> you see, because you know, Spice love money, you know what I mean. So that's my conclusion still, you know what I mean. And I can put in the comment section what you think about that. I'm also hearing the reason why Shensia wasn't on the BET Awards show this year, um, uh, because I think she appeared a couple years ago. I'm not sure, whatever. Um, it was because she had another bookings. You see, my husband. Uh, yeah, them said she did book out in a French guy and I do our things. You see, my husband. So, I'm just giving an update. What I go on for that. Put Put in the comment section what you think about that. It's definitely a good look for dance hall. Everybody seems to be booked out, you know, making money and all of these things. You know what I mean? Now, Spice just did a live and she went into detail why she and Carly Red no friends no more. You see, my husband she had talk about some stalking type thing and girl obsessed with her. <laughs> you see me? Obsessed to the point she had to buy a house next door to her. You feel me? Ah, boy, ah, boy. People, I don't know if this is a Mona Scott storyline, but we are going along with the story. So let's take a listen to what she has to say and then we'll proceed. She's doing this. She don't tell me. So yes, this makes me feel some kind of way. I know I don't want you to live two steps away from me. Let me drink some water. I just came off the flight. I'm super, super tired. But I had to come and just kind of share with you guys. And yes, I say, I, I'm not going to drag her. I'm just going to explain to you guys. I want to take one to take from the story. I want to pinch one one pinch. I want to run with one one run with. But because I do Spice TV Tuesdays, every Tuesday, I didn't want because it's a bad experience this episode i just disappear and never come talk to no so yes i still come even though i'm exhausted i'm coming off of the flight and i'm not in a good mood all right so i told her i said your friends are not my friends and no i don't want you to live two steps away from my home with my children because I don't know who you bring into your house. Like, it just weird. I, it just, me don't want, me don't, me don't, me don't want that in my space. I didn't catch the story. Lord Jesus, me just attack for nearly 30 minutes now. And you just are come. Somebody tell her the story. <laughs> um... Follow your instincts, mama. Because when... I'll fail you. Spice mine, you know, because I don't want to angle something. All right, so where am I? So I explained to her, say, I don't want you living next door to me because your friends are not my friends. And at the end of the day, You might be the friends with the whole of Atlanta. You might want to carry everybody come at your house. Whatever the case may be. 
I'm not that type of person. When I get off stage, my fans know me. When I take off my blue wig, I'm going to go back to being grace. I'm going to play my gospel. Me and my kids them just want happy, comfortable, and at peace. So I felt like she invaded my space, invaded my peace, invaded my home. And I didn't like it. And I told her. So that's just basically what the situation was when it comes on to um, me and Carly. Okay? And it just so happened that you guys are seeing it on national TV. And I know I don't feel good about it. And I'm not in the best of spirits about it. But yeah, I'm going to talk about it because I, um, I, value, I value you guys' opinion one for one. And I promise I'm going to do this every Tuesday with you guys so we can talk about it. Um, that's just a weird vibe, Spice. Um, so it just give me stalker vibe and it just come off wrong. And I think even if she, she just popping up at my house and saying she has surprised me, it just give me a weird vibe. It was, it's not, these houses, guys, <laughs> the cost for these houses, <laughs> the cost for these houses is something I don't want to disclose. But if you read between the lines, this ain't no chicken feed money. It ain't no little walk in the park. It's a whole process to get up and buy a house. So for you to go through these months of doing all the paperwork and doing all of that and keeping it a secret from me and doing it behind my back and just... It doesn't sit well with me. Um, just pray over your home. It will keep the bad vibes away. Um... Let me say I say it already more. <laughs> um, so it's just giving me a weird vibes, and that's where it was with Carly. She did a lot of things, you know, that betrayed me, and I just me is the type of person. I did my song with say, Mama used to say, Mama used to say, Mama used to tell me, friends not good for you, girl. But I know I will learn the hard way. I did that song from real life because I have been through a lot with friends. I have been through a lot with friends. So it's hard for me when you betray me. And that's just how I felt. I felt betrayed. And the type of friend that I am to Carly, it hurts even more because of the type of friend that I am to her. So even me as a friend, if you do something to me when me knowing I myself say I will never do to you or I would have never do to you, it's just a hard comeback for me. Because I'm just loyal to my friends. It's just that's just point blank period facts. Like I'm just that loyal person. So she just betray me. I'ma feel fucked up over the situation. Never like how she deal with it. And yeah, put in the comment section what you think about that. You know, when Spice was live, Carly Red um, posted this in her IG story. said, don't be afraid of being outnumbered. Eagles fly alone, pigeons flock together. <laughs> it seemed like she had thrown somewhere that somebody, even though she reposted that. You see me? Anyway, just giving that quick update while I go on for what I go on. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop the latest in a dance on news, musical reviews, and gossips. Bless.